kuwa naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa amesema kuwa serikali ya Kenya Kwanza itashirikiana na sekta ya kibinafsi katika kutimiza ahadi yake ya kutoa fursa za ajira kwa mamilioni ya vijana kote nchini ambao kwa sasa hawana ajira. Akizungumza jijini, na, uh, jijini Nairobi, naibu rais alisisitiza kuwa moja ya ajenda kuu katika mpango wa serikali wa mabadiliko ya kiuchumi ni kubunua kwa ajira. Grace Akati na taarifa hii. Huku takwimu za sensa ya mwaka 2019 zikionyesha kuwa asilimia 39 ya vijana hawana ajira humu nchini naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa amesema kuwa serikali itashirikiana na sekta binafsi kubuni nafasi za ajira kwa vijana wa Kenya. Ya kwanza administration is about jobs 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 and our whole conversation surrounds creation of employment. When I got this invitation, among so many other invitations that I received daily to attend various functions across the country, I did not even read the first paragraph. In the second sentence, it was clear that this function is about job creation. I did not even read the rest of the invitation because it is not necessary. Where jobs are being created is where President William Ruto and I will be. Akizungumza Alhamisi katika maonyesho ya kazi ya Nation Huawei ya mwaka 2022 jijini Nairobi, Gashagwa alisema maonyesho hayo na mengine kama hayo yatasaidia katika kufungua fursa za kazi, kubadilishana mawazo na uzoefu pamoja na kuipeleka Kenya katika mazungumzo yanayohitajika sana ya kubuni nafasi za kazi. The unemployment crisis in this country is a time bomb. And therefore, any investor, any entrepreneur, any organization that has a program that will create an extra job is our natural partner and friend. Kulingana na waziri wa masuala ya vijana, michezo na sanaa Ababu na Mwamba, serikali pia iko makini kuwaunganisha vijana wote na fursa za ajira humu nchini na kimataifa kupitia teknolojia ikiwemo zile zilizo ndani ya taasisi za serikali. Ministry of Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts, we are acutely aware of the need of the significance of the imperative of empowering a futuristic workforce in Kenya and that's why we are so excited to be part of this this is indeed a fantastic opportunity for us to have a conversation candid conversation and for employers to showcase employment opportunities and for us to explore ways in which we can expand employment and entrepreneurship for our young people kufikia mwaka 2030 utafiti umeonyesha kuwa zaidi ya ajira mpya milioni 230 zitazalishwa kusini mwa jangwa la Sahara hata hivyo kazi hizi zinahitaji ujuzi wa ICT kulingana na takwimu kutoka idara ya kitaifa ya takwimu KNBS kiwango cha ukosefu wa ajira nchini Kenya kilipungua hadi 7.20 katika robo ya tatu ya mwaka 2020 kutoka asilimia kumi nukta nne sufuri katika robo ya pili ya mwaka alfu mbili na ishirini. Nikiripotia Dira ya Hope TV, Mie ni Grace, ahati.